welcome back to my channel today join me in setting up my Comfast EW71 as an access point alright so if you are having problem connecting to your internet uh, upstairs let's say your uh, main router is located in the basement or on your first floor and then pag the things sa second floor or on the third floor you're not getting a strong signal oh, so no. having this router to be a set up as an access point will give you a strong signal on those locations all right so make sure you have a long a LAN cable connecting your uh, router uh, your main router to your Compass EW71 okay so let's check first the physical connection so I have connected my uh, Compass EW71 to its power adapter from WAN port of my Compass going to the PoE port of my adapter and then the uh, power cord of the power adapter connecting to the power source so once plugged in from our system or from my desktop we can now see the uh, Wi-Fi name which is compass underscore 6 f2e underscore 2g so my router right now my compass EW71 is in default configuration so I'm going to connect easily without any password since this is on default state okay and then after that let us now uh, modify or configure our compass EW71 so open up a browser and then go to the uh, IP address of the router which is 192.168.10.1 again and then if in case it showed a Chinese language don't worry just click on the globe icon right here and then select the English language okay and then let's set up first our password for our uh, router okay, make it simple click on the password add and then I'm gonna log out and then test my new password for error password one two three capital P yep we're in so right now I'm adding router is configured as a router it doesn't have any internet or IP address yet because I have not plugged plug in the uh, LAN cable yet no so later we'll do that and currently here is its uh, uh, network or wireless name okay so click on the wizard option and then we have four uh, options right here to set up this router so we can set it up as router which is right now it's in the router state there is the bridge and the repeater these two options will uh, uh, convert your compass EW71 uh, to be a wireless repeater if you would like to extend your uh, main uh, wireless or main Wi-Fi uh, using this setup but on this case we will be setting it up as an access point that's why we need to have a LAN cable connecting our uh, Compass EW71 to our main router or to our switch if you have a switch okay so let's do it click on this AP mode and then you can uh, change the IP address if you would like to access your Compass EW71 in the future, just uh, put in the same network uh, IP for this router. No, so mine is so 192.168.1.1. That is my default gateway. So therefore, I'm going to, let's say, put here 192.168.1.100. So we're doing this so that we could access this router once we have connected this router to our main uh, router. Alright, so 
So click on next and then I'm going to rename this cell wireless to let's say Compast EW71EP okay. I'm not going to put any password so for the bandwidth you have two options uh, 20 megahertz or 40 megahertz so I'll just leave it as it is and then for the country there's only three options I'll select uh, China since this is near to uh, Philippines of course and then the channel I'll set this to automatic mode okay and then I'll click on connect or next rather all right so as a review this will be the new settings once we click on the finish button okay so I'll be click clicking now on the finish button so while doing this I'll be connecting now my uh, Comfast EW71 to my Microtech router or if you have a switch you can do it Alright, so while waiting for our Comfast EW71 to be rebooted, let us now connect this router to our uh, main router. So in my case, I'll be using my uh, Microtech router since I'll be testing this for my hotspot connection. So from uh, LAN 3 of my Microtech router, this will be going to the LAN port of my power adapter na ating Comfast EW71 Alright, so it looks like my Comfast EW71 is now ready Let's now go back to my desktop and check the wireless Here we go, so we can see now the uh, Comfast EW71 is configured Let us now connect to it Ayan And then let us now test if we can access my hotspot portal there you go and let me also connect to my win box and see my uh, username all right all right my username is webhouse tv with 30 mbps uh, speed okay There you go, it is now connected, it is now registered in our active user account. Okay, and then also let's check its current speed. Alright, so we're getting 28 Mbps and for the second test since this user profile has a 30 megabytes a rate limit yep we're getting a good speed with this signal with this Comfast EW71 and let us now try to maximize the limit rate and see if we can get the 100% uh, connection that we are uh, expecting no? so my uh, globe fiber has a 50 megabytes per second okay let's just configure this user profile and then let me uh, log out okay to apply the changes okay and then the user profile is now set to 30 mbps okay and let's log in again Here now and for the speed test okay so far so good we got 45 mbps at this time and for the last test all right and we have 45 mbps so fair enough Okay, so I hope you like this video tutorial. So if you have the same router, you can set this up as an access point to uh, extend 
or to have our strong Wi-Fi signal from the second floor, third floor, or anywhere else as long as you set it up with a LAN cable. You can also put this uh, router outside your house, no? Because this is an outdoor router. There's no need to worry kung mauulanan siya or maaarawan siya because this router can with, uh, withstand all those weather conditions. Okay, so I hope you like my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for uh, more video tutorials. Once again, this is Webhouse TV saying goodbye and God bless.